Hello my loves and welcome to this week's video. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm about to do my makeup and I want to do it with you guys and just chat, catch up, touch base. I feel like we need a good catch up. I've already filmed most of this vlog and I was editing it back and it just felt like there was something missing at the start. So I'm putting this first. I'm starting off with my absolute favorite primer at the moment, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is incredible i feel like my skin just drinks this up it's so moisturizing feels lovely it smells incredible it's got a really strong kind of like like a kind of citrusy smell i just love it it's a really nice base underneath any foundation and then for foundation i'm going to be using my typology paris tinted serum and again this is a really nice skincare mix it has vitamin c so it just makes you really glowy it has 99 percent naturally derived ingredients which is amazing i've recently been using my hands to apply my foundations i don't know why i just feel like it gives a really nice finish a lot more natural looking anyway right we need to catch up guys first and foremost i apologize for my youtube schedule being so all over the place at the moment hello Sunday is my normal upload day, but I've obviously missed quite a few or they've been on different days. And yeah, let me know if that's the kind of thing that you guys place importance on, because I guess when I watch YouTube, I don't really mind when somebody uploads. It's more when they upload, I'll watch their video. Um, but I'd be interested to know if like you guys prefer people to upload to a strict schedule or if you're just happy with as and when. I have such major guilt when I don't post properly on YouTube. And, and it's not because I'm not enjoying YouTube anymore. I still love YouTube. I love you guys. And um, I think this is just such a wonderful platform. The truth is though, I am a terrible multitasker. And when I feel unsettled or when my schedule is super, super packed and busy, I just can't vlog. I can't do it. I find it really hard. I get stressed and I feel like I'm not myself on camera. And then that just completely takes the joy out of it for me. So I'd rather not vlog at all than than do a vlog and know that I'm not really feeling it. And the last thing I ever want is for me to resent filming or YouTube as a platform. For like the last couple of months, it's just been better for me to film as and when I feel like I really want to pick up the camera rather than forcing something and trying to stick to a schedule. Camera just died, sorry. But yeah, I really hope you guys understand what I mean. I just think the last thing I want is for you guys to ever think that I don't take youtube seriously because i absolutely do so yeah i really want to try and get back on track with it um but equally i would rather put out one video i'm happy with a month than four that i just feel are rushed or aren't very me i kind of think that you guys would prefer that as well for mascara i'm gonna use my dior iconic over curl i love this mascara so much anyway some other life updates whoa i just got the weird stage vu after i've done my makeup i'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update with what's been going on in the flat because things are nearly done and the majority of the big work has now been completed which i'm so happy about i can't even tell you now i just have to do the finishing touches which is basically just like the decor the furniture it feels very empty so it definitely needs like filling out and it needs a bit of color and all of that kind of thing i love having a glow on my face but i don't like it in my t-zone so i'm just going to put some of my charlotte tilbury flawless flawless finish and for blush i'm going to use my dior backstage rosy glow this is such a pretty baby pink and i kind of just put this where you would put your highlighter and just on my nose a little bit for that sun flushed sun kissed kind of look for bronzer i'm going to use my laura mercier matte radiance baked powder and then for lips charlotte tilbury iconic nude liner and dior gloss in the shade 016 really don't know what to do with my hair today because you know when you accidentally don't wash out all the product and it just makes it like really matte like there's no shine to it at all right guys are we ready for the fireplace reveal i cannot wait to show you this because let me tell you this was not an easy job i'm saying it like i put it up myself i obviously didn't but there were a lot of tears involved in the making of this however now it's all done i honestly can say it was worth it and i'm so happy with the way it looks um so yeah i'm going to show you and also go into the details with everything just to quickly refresh your memory here's what it looked like before a big plain white wall it definitely needed like a feature on it to make it look a lot more interesting and have a bit of a focal point for the room and here is how it's looking now here is my lovely little fireplace i am so obsessed let me give you guys first of all you might be wondering why 
it's off center and to be honest it's quite hard to show on camera but it makes the most sense we i kind of have the living room area here and then it slants in so i almost wanted to square off this section and it will make more sense once all the furniture is in because there's going to be like some chairs here or some kind of like bench i wanted the fireplace to be central to this and the sofa rather than the room i'm so glad i did it this way because it looks a lot better so i have the false chimney breast here and then a marble mantle this is carrera marble with the granite slips and i also have a samsung tv with a picture frame this is going to be framed in an antique brass modern looking frame so for now it looks a bit unfinished to me and then i've got a diffuser oh my god guys i'm obsessed with this diffuser at the moment it's joe loves i'll link it down below but it smells amazing and it really fills up the room i've also got a new lamp guys i got this as a gift from my boyfriend he completely chose this himself and what i love about it is i would never choose this personally but i really love the design i love the way it looks and it fits nicely because it's that kind of classic but modern look okay so now for all of the details by the way one thing i didn't mention is this is a fully working fireplace which is something i didn't realize was possible in a new build apartment it's a bioethanol fire which means it runs purely off ethanol and we lit it for the first time the other day it was honestly amazing so cozy and it's just crazy because it's a real fire but it gives off no fumes no smoke no ash no smell the logs aren't even real but they look so realistic they're actually made out of concrete i did a ton of research into this and i found a company called bio i think they're just called bio fires i'll have them linked down below this was definitely an added cost it was just under a thousand pounds but I'm so glad I went for it now because it just feels really special and it adds so much more to the fireplace now it's actually working. One thing I want to say though quickly is if any of you are considering doing one of these, make sure you do your research and ask the permissions where you need to. Sometimes you need to ask planning permission, you might need to ask the freeholder, all of that boring technical stuff, just make sure you do it right. Even the chimney breast which my carpenters built had to be done so carefully and with the right materials. There's concrete behind here and heat resistant and fire resistant stuff. I don't know the technical info, but um, but you guys get the gist. And then the fireplace. There were a lot of dramas around this. You might have seen some of it on my home account if you follow me on there. I've also had a lot of questions with regards to where the fireplace is from. I love giving you guys recommendations, but I cannot give you a recommendation that I don't fully feel comfortable with and I wasn't 100% happy with the service, which I'll go into now. I chose the fireplace and then the supplier then fits it and they arrived and you know when you just get a weird energy from somebody it was these two guys they arrived and there's just something not right like i just didn't want their presence in my home for some reason anyway they kind of mess about for a bit and they eventually say to me it hasn't been built correctly even though they gave us um really specific plans to work from and they said either we come back another day and kind of basically rebuild it for an extra, I think it was like 700 pounds or something like that, or you just cancel the job and we will charge you 250 pound cancellation fee. So I was freaking out because this is a lot of money and I ring my carpenter and he was like, Kate, don't worry, I've built this exactly to standard, how it needed to be. In fact, I've built it even better and even stronger. They are just trying to get money out of you. Don't listen to them. This was actually the day I was leaving for Paris. So I was already a bit stressed because I was packing and I had lots of stuff to do work-wise. And then I had all of this going on and I was ringing them saying like, you can't charge me for this because I've done exactly what you wanted us to do. This isn't our fault. If you wanted us to build it differently, you should have said that before. And one thing about me guys, I'm not good at getting angry. It's just, I don't have it in me. And in these situations, you need to be angry in order to get what you want. So I rang my carpenter again and I was like, I don't know what to do, please can you help me? And he was, he's honestly, this guy has helped me out so much. I'm so grateful for them. I feel so lucky to have found them because it's so hard to get a good tradesman in London who are honest and, and just really good at their job. So I'll link their, I think they have Instagram. I'll link their Instagram down below. Um, in case any of you guys are also London based, I think they're actually based in Kent. So if you're like Kent, London based, just like send them a message because they're amazing. 
Anyway, he then rings up the, the supplier and obviously has a bit of a go at them saying they're taking the piss. The supplier rings me up and is like, okay, yeah, no worries. We're not gonna charge you. Um, let's leave it at that. And ended up being my carpenter who fitted the fireplace for me. Even then, there were still loads of problems like they didn't cut the stone the right size, which again meant that I had to pay for more time for it to be built. And it was very stressful, but honestly, so worth it. I'm so happy with the way it looks. Speaking of which, when they were fitting the last piece of the fireplace, there's a, I ordered like a shelf that goes on top of a mantle. And it's so beautiful, standalone, it's gorgeous. But this really taught me to listen to my gut because my gut was telling me the whole time that this mantle might not work in the apartment. But I really loved it and I wanted it to work. So I ignored my gut feeling, got the mantle. They put it on, the glue takes 30 minutes to set and then we were 20 minutes in and I was looking at it and I was like, I'm so sorry guys, you're gonna have to take it off, I don't like it. In fact, I was on my home account stories asking you guys for your opinions because also of these things, you don't know if you're just looking at something and overthinking something too much, but you guys were so helpful and um, had so many great opinions and I'm glad that I took the mantle off. It was just too traditional for a modern apartment and I think it looks a lot more in line with the apartment without the shelf, a lot more clean. But yeah, that was another stress, but when it was done, I literally couldn't stop crying. I was so happy and I know it sounds so silly because it's just a fireplace, but I don't know, I feel like it meant a bit more than that to me and it was like a bit of a sign of things coming together in the apartment and like choices paying off and um, yeah, I was just delighted. It feels very adult to have a fireplace. I also can't believe how realistic the Samsung frame is. I think once it's in an actual frame, it will look even better. Let me show you as well what my carpenters did. There is like a kind of hidden, you can't see it at all unless you come like round the corner. But there's this hidden little door and in here there's a shelf which is where like the box for the TV goes and all of that kind of thing. By the way, this is my outfit of the day. This top is from Massimo Duty. I'll link it down below. And I've got my favourite Evelyn jeans on. And earrings are Astrid Amu. Anyway guys, I think we are now all updated. So I'm going to get on with the vlog and put in the rest of the footage here. Good morning guys. I'm looking very glam for a Wednesday morning. Um, if you can see two flies running around, not running, they don't run, they fly. If you can see them flying, ignore it because I've had the windows open. It's very humid in London today. But anyway, I'm going to an event with the brand Friends Like These to celebrate their Millie Macintosh collection, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's this beautiful dress. And I've just popped on my Hermes Kelly belt just to cinch in a bit. It's a bit big for me. And then I've got my Manolos on as well. And yeah, this is the look. My hair could be a lot nicer, but I didn't have time to do it this morning. Oh, and these earrings are from Cos and they're like the Bottega dupes. I absolutely love them. They're such a statement and I feel like they're quite modern as well, which is always nice when I dress a little bit more classic. So yeah, here's a look. I'm gonna go jump in the car, which is waiting for me outside. Let's go. such bad light but look who turned up in the same outfit we are twinning match and everyone kept calling you me and whatever yeah you think like. i know so i was like oh hi sophie and i'm like no i'm kate this is sophie hi. i'm like yes we're matching but we're not the same person exactly i mean we're very different you're blonde i mean i'm blonde you're brunette i know um but yeah we're just gonna head home now the event was really nice but all um igh girls are all from the same agency this way. I'm now home and straight into PJs and B has just made a lovely home cooked meal. What is it B? I mean I think it's quite obvious what it is to be fair. We probably don't need to explain it. Veggie spaghetti ball. It's not even spaghetti. I don't know what kind of pasta this is. I do have dough balls as well but um, I'm not really ready yet. Um. Good morning guys, it is now Wednesday and I have got ready, I've done my hair. I actually um, tonged it today instead of dysoned it and yeah, I think I quite like the result. Um, I'm just trying on some clothes. I've done lots of random orders here and there and I'm just having a try on session to see what I like, what I need to return. 
So I'm going to show you. There's lots of random bits and bobs going on in the background. So please do ignore. Um, so this is the first thing I'm trying on. This is from Massimo GT. I've got a real obsession with Massimo at the moment. And yeah, it's just such a cute set. This skirt fits like a glove. It's so perfect. And it's just, I don't know, I think it's really flattering. And it's got a matching little knit jumper as well. I think it's really cute. I'm just trying to work out what I'd actually wear this to. Maybe like a little event or meeting maybe. I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, but I really like it. Um, like it's got all of like this fringe detailing, so nice. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think I've got another week to return it, so I've got a bit of time. Next up is this top, and I've got mixed feelings. I think it's gorgeous. By the way, this is from H&M. I think it was only about £17, so quite cheap. It's this like slinky material. So up here, I love it because it's double lined, but then down here, it's just one singular um, piece of fabric, and I don't know if it looks a little bit, um, I don't know, I feel like it almost cheapens it a little bit. It would be so much better if this was double lined. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but this bit here, I love. I think it's gorgeous. It looks really elegant, really sophisticated. But yeah, this would be like a nice dinner top, I think, or evening wear top. Maybe, actually right now I have got a bra on underneath this. Maybe if there was no bra, it would sit a little bit better. Another little H&M number. This fits like a glove. I really like this actually. Yeah, and I think this was really inexpensive. I was trying to work out where it should sit. Probably about there. Um, but yeah, really cute, nice summery vibes. It's like a really nice, soft, slightly knitted material as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I'd probably pair it with something like what I'm wearing. Maybe like some black sandals as well. And another Massimo Duty top I picked up is this one. It's got the really nice contrasting uh, piping. And I just think very, very classic vibes. Um, I've got a similar one as well in black and white. I'll put a picture up on the screen and I'll have both of them linked down below. Hello guys, it is later on in the day. I think it's about six o'clock. I've been working with Grace all day today, so I haven't had a chance to vlog, but um, I need to get ready for Pilates. I've been going to Pilates twice a week since, for maybe like two months now, and I'm so proud of myself. I said I wanted to nail my fitness routine at the beginning of the year and I mean I know that we are halfway almost through the year now but better late than never and you know what one thing that's really helped me with Pilates is booking it in advance I have two days a week at a set time that I go to so I know where I stand and I can plan my day around it I know that probably sounds so self-explanatory to most people but for me, I was always like, oh, I'm too busy, I can't fit it in. But if it's in the diary and it's locked in, then it's just easier. And I also just really romanticise it. Like, I love the walk to Pilates. The walk is really beautiful and it makes me so happy. And it's just at the perfect time as well when the sun, when the sun is setting. So it's just really nice. And I'll listen to a nice podcast. I don't know, it's just like a new part of my routine that I'm actually really enjoying, which is very surprising. I never thought I'd see the day, to be honest. Anyway, Pilates is in an hour. So I've got a bit of time to sort out what you guys are currently sitting on because tomorrow I am having my bedroom wardrobe spill, which I'm so excited for. This is like the last big project for a while. And right now, I'll show you what it looks like right now, but it's ugly and it's been annoying me. So I can't wait to have a really nice wardrobe and also have storage because right now a lot of my things are like even floating around in storage and I just want to have a place. This is where my old wardrobe was and it was just really badly designed. Um, I always say it, but whoever designed these apartments was was definitely a man because no woman would design a wardrobe that terribly. So I got that ripped out and put my Ikea drawers, which are honestly battered, they're so broken. I've had them since I was at uni. Yeah, let's pop them in there for now, but tomorrow this is gonna look so much nicer. I put up the um, designs on screen. It's mostly drawers because I've got loads of hanging space in my wardrobe. So I wanted to have places for like my pajamas, my socks, um, my gym wear, anything casual um, is gonna go in this wardrobe. But yeah, I just need to empty some of the drawers. I've done most of them, but I've got some left to go. Also ignore my patchy makeup, it's been on all day and I've been out and about, so it's looking a bit worse for wear. <sighs> 
I need to sort out my underwear actually. I also need to work out how I'm going to dispose of this ginormous thing. I feel like that is gonna be a tomorrow problem. This is my long chomp bag. This bag has been with me since I was at sixth form. I love this so much, I still use it all of the time and i mean it's a bit battered but it's still perfectly usable and i just think these are such great bags they're timeless so um yeah i'd recommend and i remember my mum and dad got me this for my birthday and this was my first ever proper i wouldn't say it's, it's long shop designer i guess it's kind of designer but um my first proper bag and i love it so much but anyway I'm rambling this is a body brush it is so good i've got another one from amazon that's a lot softer but where this one's a little bit more coarse oh my god it's amazing for exfoliation um so if i ever want to get my tan off i'll use this or if i just want like fresh skin this honestly works wonders this is from a brand called um patisserie um they sent this to me actually so Morning guys happy friday the wardrobe guys have been and they've left and i have a new wardrobe i'm so excited to show you the company i used is the bedroom company i'll put their details down below they have been amazing i think i designed this maybe three weeks ago and it's already in so they have a really quick turnaround time they were super neat super tidy all things i really appreciate there is one small problem though and i've noticed this happens with every single renovation there's always one problem but this was actually a blessing in disguise so the doors were slightly too small for the frame but it's good because the color i chose i actually don't like it i thought it was going to be a lot more of an off-white but it turns out to be a little bit more yellowy which is completely my fault it was just like an error of judgment but it's good because they're having new doors made anyway so i've been able to change the color of the external um of the external part so it's super simple obviously there are no doors on here right now but this is the design it's going to be two small doors up here and then two um doors with mirrors within a panel and then i've also got this really nice detail um on the side but this is what's going to be white because as you can see it's not really coming up on camera but it is quite yellowy so yeah it was a happy accident and then these are the drawers just to put all of my stuff in which i'm going to do with you guys now they're a nice kind of soft clothes and um i have some room for hanging as well huge improvement to what it was before lots of storage really excited to put all my stuff in So I'm back to finish off the vlog and show you the finished wardrobe. Well, not the finished wardrobe because that's technically getting finished this week. But I've um, obviously filled it up. And here is how it is looking. So up here, which is where there's going to be a little cupboard, is where I put all of my winter coats and knitwear and that kind of thing. And then, yeah, the hanging space is going to be for casual jumpers and cozies, that kind of thing. And I still have lots of space as well, which is amazing. And then in the drawers, I've got my underwear and socks here. So I'll spare your eyes from that. And here I have all of my basic tops and I've just used my Ikea dividers and they actually fit perfectly, which is really great. And here I have my leggings. I've got a lot of black leggings. 
um, and some of my loungewear sets. I've got these ones from Tala, which are honestly my favorite lounge sets for when you wanna be at home and feel comfortable, but also feel put together. In here, I have all of my gym wear. And then in here, I have all of my pajamas and it's so nice to have everything so organized and neat. I really wanted to show you a finished reveal, but I also wanted to get this vlog out for tonight. So you're gonna have to wait, maybe follow my home account because I'll definitely post a finished result on there. I'm honestly over the moon that my things have a place now and I feel so much more calm and settled. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, leave a comment down below. Oh my God, that reminds me, the giveaway winners of not my last video, but the video before, I have picked them and, and I've messaged the winners as well. So I'll put their handles in the um, comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.